if you are thinking about custom bike and you don't have a driving license or want to start small with 125cc bike, then you are at the right place. In the last few years, I built up two custom 125s for myself. And I know that it may not be a lot, but hundreds of hours spent on searching the web for tips, hints and best base models for building a one was a lot. And if I can help anyone by creating this video, I will be happy. In this video, I will show you my personal best base models for creating a custom cafe racer, scrambler and bobber out of 125cc serial bike. And if you are not a mechanic and you don't have a lot of experience nor equipment, don't be scared, so do I. And yet, somehow I'm rebuilding bikes in my garage or living room. Today we will focus on visual customization only and on the models that require as few changes as possible. Like in any kind of design, in bikes also, it's all about the lines. There are many types of cafe racers, but when designing your bike you have to think about two lines. First, imagine a straight line that goes from the front of your bike to the end of it. This is the first one. Based on that, you should look for bikes that have a perfect straight frame, that don't have to be changed a lot. The second one is what I call the curve. It is the line that goes from your tongue to the tail of your bike. It has to be natural. You also have to think about consistency and the balance. It is very important. You can't make a nice looking bike with too big tail or tongue. Let's start with top 3 cafe racer base. Brixton Sunway. Maybe it's just me talking again, but I've checked a lot of bikes and I think that Brixton requires so little changes that it's just amazing. You just have to give him a frame loop finish and change this huge seat and you are good. Mash Cafe Racer. I think that the mash needs the less work to do. You could change this huge seat for a smaller one and you have a cool looking cafe racer. GPX Legend, Gromit Legend. My first 125cc cafe racer was this exact bike. It has a perfect frame line, beautiful upside down front damper and a small tear shaped tongue. But still, you have to do a lot of small changes, like with the Brixton. Moving on to the scramblers. In case of scramblers, the story is pretty similar, although the goal here to achieve is different. If you are thinking about scramblers, you are thinking about a dirt bike that is also good for the city. The first one is AJS Tempest, UK motorcycle brand, have a long history. And the model that I'm showing you is almost completed as a perfect scrambler base. So let's move to the next one. Romat SCMB. Small city bike with huge scrambler potential. The only thing that may be disturbing in case of all three models is a pretty big seat. In case of SCMB, you should also consider to change the tires for a little bit more dirt style. If you want to know more about this bike, check out our test. Brixton Flashberg and Brixton Cromwell. Like in case of AJS, these two Brixton models are full scrambler design that looks almost perfectly and requires some personalized detail changes. Moving on to the bobbers. The first bike is Honda Rebel 125cc, one of the classics. I can show you at least few projects that show that it, it is a pretty great base for a bobber. You may consider to change the tank to a smaller one, but other than that, it is a pretty much mechanically the best base that will last for many years. The next one is Unac M16 or AJS Bobber. It is the most expensive one on this video. Yet, I think that one of the best looking bikes here. I don't know a lot about the engine specification, but surely it is the biggest 125cc and heaviest one on the market right now. The last bike on this video is Romet RCR 125. One thing is sure, like with M16, it doesn't look like 125cc bike at all. Wide tires, massive upside down front damper makes it look like a big bike. I think that it requires not much to look like a perfect bobber. Like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this.